This is the story of three days of thrills and excitement in hunt for giant skate and halibut. Twenty miles north of the Scottish mainland, a cluster of more than 50 islands form a gigantic contrasting maze of bluff cliffs, sheltered bays and inlets which make up the Orkney Islands, where you can find some of the finest sea angling in Europe. Here you can always find sheltered water, no matter how the wind blows. Scarpa Flow has been the haven of craft from the Viking longships to the giant battle fleets of two world wars. Here that we found the giant common skate, the game fighting halibut, and a host of other species all caught with almost a stone's throw of Stromness Harbour. Kirkwall, old and picturesque, has grown from a primitive Viking stronghold of the early 9th century to the modern port and commercial centre of today. an airport with regular daily air services from the mainland. You can breakfast at Heathrow, lunch in Kirkwall, and lie fishing off the coast by the afternoon. Our team, Moncrief, Julian Strange, and Scottish angler Mike Shepley, were welcomed aboard the Evelyn by owner-skipper Alfie Sinclair, who would take us to the most likely marks. Alfie told us the conditions were ideal off the old man of Hoy, where we would find comfortable fishing drifting over the deep rock ledges under the face of the cliffs. This was not skate country, but the chances were that we should catch good cod and ling and even halibut if we were lucky. We headed out into the Atlantic through the turbulent bottleneck of Hoy Sound. Although unfriendly to man, the boiling cauldron of the tide rip is the happy hunting ground of the halibut, which uses its strength and swimming power to prey on smaller and weaker fish that are always at a disadvantage under these conditions. The warm, sunny morning made it a pleasure to prepare our tackle as Moncrief discussed tactics with the skipper. We had plenty of freshly caught squid and fish bait to lure our quarry. We planned to work the five miles of deep shelving bottom, bouncing our baits over the pinnacles of rock and into the vast ragged holes and crevices of the rough ground where the ling feed from ambush. And for this reason, drifting is the most effective method. By covering a large area of ground, you're more likely to discover the hideouts of these voracious feeders. The old man of Hoy looked on as we got stuck into a small shoal of haddock. Mike Shepley had a nice cut on the feathers. A most effective lure. in the great quantities we'd expected. Fishing is always an unpredictable business. 
Now if you think they're suggestive, we might like to try the shallower, sandy bays further around the coast, that were usually thick with place and rays.